go. So, we've done the present. Well, no, hang on. We've done the future. We've done the past. Now we're on to the present. Now, with Doctor Who, the present is kind of a little tricky because this isn't going to focus on the kind of present present, I right, here and now. This present is going to kind of span over 14 years because with Doctor Who... Especially with New Who, there's quite a bit of present to go look over. But I'm also classifying here present and the near future, which Doctor Who has done over time. I mean, they did two episodes in Series 1 and Series 2 uh, that were set in 2012, which was only seven and then six years away. And they also, in 2010, did an episode that's set in 2020, which is only about ten years away. And so... And now is only one year away. But, anyway, Doctor Who, the present. Here's how the timeline looks. 2005. Shop window dummies come to life in London and cause havoc before they eventually just fall down dead. 2006. Okay, for pretty much the entirety of Russell T Davies' time as, the, as showrunner, we were effectively running one year in the future. And from here, 2006, an alien spaceship crashes into Big Ben, destroying part of it, and also uh, Tendamic Street is destroyed by a missile. Also later that year, there's an earthquake in Cardiff, and later on, a giant rock is seen hanging over London. That's around Christmas time. 2007, Deathry Vale High School gets... Kind of improved results, but then also later gets blown up. Also, in an alternate universe, the Cybermen are created by John Lumick. In our universe, a group comes together to try and find the Doctor, and the Cybermen eventually cross over from their universe into ours and battle against the Daleks. Also around this time, Donna Noble makes a choice to go kind of head to her job, and eventually, that Christmas, she ends up meeting the Doctor on her wedding day. 2008. A giant eyeball appears over a small English village asking for an escaped prisoner. Also, a hospital disappears for a couple of hours. A scientist attempts to rejuvenate himself with disastrous results. Statues are seen seemingly moving when you're not looking at them. We get a new Prime Minister, who turns out to be rather bonkers, and pretty much creates a megalom... a megalom... is a megalomaniac looking for a totalitarian regime, and also a replica of the Titanic almost crashes into Buckingham Palace. Yeah, I, I said before that the Doctor Who timeline was weird. Anyway, 2009. A new diet pill begins... Sweep, begin sweeping the nation and is rather popular until it's discovered that your fat is alive. Also, people give ad adopt a new system for their cars to reduce the emissions, but it only ends up increasing them. And also, our planet gets moved halfway across space to be used in a giant engine. 2010. A bus disappears. A London bus just disappears right in front of you. Uh... Several people go missing, and kind of time begins acting strange, and also there's a brief period where everyone looks the same. 2011. Time is literally broken because uh, a woman refuses to, kill, refuses to shoot the man she loves. Also, there's a child who can seemingly send people into a quite sinister doll's house, and... Cybermen invade a local shopping centre, kidnapping several people and using them for spare parts. 2012. A Dalek manages to escape confinement in an underground museum and causes havoc before it eventually destroys itself. Billions of people go missing from the Olympic Stadium for about an hour. Uh... The Doctor, his, his companions Amy Pond and Roy Williams, are kidnapped by Daleks who intend to send them down to a planet so they can be destroyed. An arc filled with dinosaurs nearly collides with the Earth, and millions of black cubes appear all over the planet. 
2013. People get trapped inside the Wi-Fi, and also the Doctor ends up on a mysterious planet where he has to protect a small farm from basically everything. 2014. The Doctor attempts to investigate the creature under your bed. Believe me, you don't want to know what's under there. He also takes a job as a caretaker of a local school. Also, Clara Oswald has a rather disastrous first date with Danny Pink. Several people end up going missing when graffiti shows up in the local area. London is entirely covered by trees. And, sadly, Danny Pink dies and later gets somewhat half-rejuvenated in St Paul's Cathedral. 2015. Amy Pond and Rue Williams are now are now happily married, heavily pregnant, and have settled down in a little village. The, you know, the Zygons are attempting once again to take over the world, and also several creatures have taken refuge on a street, hidden from human view. In 2016, a spaceship falls from the sky and nearly destroys New York, but is stopped by a mysterious vigilante. In 2017, a mysterious... A mysterious kind of puddle absorbs a university student. Also, several university students end up moving into a haunted house. Uh, the Doctor has sent a mysterious kind of, uh, simulation from the future showing him what could happen. Also, a pyramid appears in the middle of a war zone, and we suddenly have monks swarming around and saying that they've been here for years. 2018. A woman falls from the sky and crashes through the roof of a train, swiftly followed by a large electrical creature. She and her friends also end up on a desert planet, with two people in the middle of a race. We also get giant spiders all over certain areas of Sheffield. And also, uh, we get a creature that wants to... Well, we get essentially a sentient universe that tries to creep into our universe. Yeah, I said it's weird. In 2019, we get a Dalek attempts to once again invade planet Earth. And in 2020, well, one year from now we're apparently due to make contact with the Silurians and end up with a pact saying 100 years time we'll be able to share this planet in peace. Oh. Something to look forward to. But there's the Doctor Who present. And that is the timeline complete. I've done the future, I've done the past, I've done the present now. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'll have to update it at time when Series 12 comes out. I have to find a way to slot in the rest of the episodes there. But yeah, maybe someday I'll do one with classic episodes slotted in there as well. Oh boy, that'll be an undertaking. Until then, <laughs> see ya.